Hey everyone, Kuba Slinsk here. I wanna to talk to you about how visualization and meditation can help in the manifestation process and how you can get the results that you're always gunning for. So we all know that everything is created twice in this world. Once inside our mind and one in our physical reality. So our mind is one of the most powerful tools in all of creation. You may have heard the saying that if you think positive, you're gonna attract positive results. Sad to say, that is not true. And I wanna paint you a picture of an example. So imagine a fish bowl, a fish being your mind and the bowl being the headspace. Now, if that fish thinks positively in a polluted fish bowl, then they're just gonna become a product of their environment and they're gonna not generate the result that they're seeking because of the green debris, which is the pollution. This is a metaphor for bad ideologies, bad habits, poor belief systems, unresided emotions that's holding them back as resistance. So what needs to happen is that fish needs to be put in a new environment. So when they are in a new environment with new ideas, better habits, they've got better belief systems, they, they learned how to let go of what's holding them back, that's when they start generating the positive results that they're searching. So you may be asking, how do I start producing positive results? How do I start manifesting the life that I want? This is where you have to start reflecting and self-assessing your results in your life, positive and negative. A good place to start is the four Fs. Scoring yourself one to 10 in family and friends, fulfillment, finances, and fitness. 10 being the utmost high. You're happy, you're proud, you're crushing it in that area. Five being mediocre, one being Heck, I've neglected this area, I need to work on it and improve it. So scoring yourself in a rating and how you see yourself around your friends and family. What does bring what does bring you what brings you fulfillment in your life? Finances, are you happy with your finances? Is it ticking the boxes? Is it giving you the experience that you want in your life? As well as fitness. How well do you score yourself in your health and fitness? Are you in good health? Are you good mentally, emotionally, physically? Reflecting back in a mind-body model. This is correlated to how we operate in our day-to-day -day lives. Most of us and how we do things is through the conscious state, based on our sensory factors, hear, smell, taste, touch. Unfortunately, this is only operating at 10% of our potential. That if we wanna start seeing change, we need to address everything from a system level, which is the subconscious mind. This is how we get the bulk of our results. It contributes to 60% of our input. Input and output. So if we start addressing things in the subconscious mind, in how we think and how we do things, this is where our habits, our belief systems lie. So if we change that, we're gonna change the course of our results. So this is where meditation and visualization comes hand in hand in the manifestation process. When you meditate, you allow for deep rest for your mind and body. It's one of the most powerful form of awareness. Awareness meaning that you're more observant on you, in your thoughts, your feelings, your interactions, finding out triggers that may draw stress into your life. When you learn how to meditate, you ground yourself in the present state. This also works really well in expressing gratitude, being grateful for what you have, what you've experienced, the trials, the tribulations, and speaking about it in the present tense because the person that you've created today was all due to your past. And you have to thank yourself for it because you get to live another day in this life doing what you wanna do, aim for the goals that you wanna aim for. So when you meditate, expressing back in a mind-body model, you're learning how to calm your senses. You're learning how to really be confident, control your breath, be centered and focused. When you meditate, you learn how to control your breath. And this is really important based on your parasympathetic nervous system, that generally if we're acting in stress, we're acting in a fight or flight response. We're more worried about survival as opposed to creation. No new ideas are coming about. We're not creating anything. We're just trying to find an area of safety or security. So when you learn how to control your breath, learn how to ground yourself, learn how to relax, be calm, be confident, you're not allowing the outer world to control your inner world. You're not allowing the external environment to control your actions, your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions, whether you're taking them or you're acting out of inaction. 
Controlling your breath, it brings you in the present state, which gives you more confidence, ease and flow to do whatever you want to do to get the result that you want. That's how powerful meditation is. It brings you more energy in your conscious state. So you can be more aware of these, these things here. Visualization, also a good contributor to meditation. This allows you to have a goal. What do you want to accomplish? You gotta visualize it. You gotta express it that it's already done, that you already see yourself getting that goal. When you visualize, you learn to develop willpower. This helps you avoid any distractions along the way. It accelerates success and growth, and it eases the impact of fear and concern. By speaking it, expressing it in the present tense that it's already done, that you can see it happening, you start developing confidence. You start developing belief and faith, which is what is needed for you to really crush your goals. All the greatest people before us knew about this. We've got William Wallace, Joan of Arc, We've got Martin Luther King. They all had a dream. They all had a vision. They pictured it in the screen of their mind and then they brought it into the physical reality. So everything is credit twice. One in the unknown and one in the known. So you may be asking, when is meditation and visualization best done? Studies have shown that meditation is best done in the morning and the science behind it is that it slows down your brain waves. When you're slowing down your brain waves, you're not acting out of, uh, in spite of chaos. You're not being a product of your environment. So if the environment is really chaotic, really stressful, uh, really go, 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 when you learn how to slow down your, your brain waves, when you're acting at a, in a state of ease and flow, you're more aware of your surroundings. You're more aware of your own behavior. And when you're in this phenomena called observing the observer, observing yourself from a different perception, that's when you begin to start changing things. How you think, how you, how you feel, and how you act, and how you can start building better habits. So when you learn to meditate first thing in the morning, as well as visualize, you're keeping yourself grounded. You're a lot more alert and focused in what you need to do to get the result that you do want. You're operating at a higher vibrational frequency, meaning that you're operating out of love, joy, enlightenment, happiness. These are the emotions that you should be expressing on a day-to-day -day basis to achieve more of what you already want because you're already happy with who you are. In terms of visualization, you need to really ask yourself, what is the end result that you're trying to achieve? And from there, ask you, asking yourself the question, who do you want to be? What do you want to do? And what do you want to have? And am I doing that currently? Am I doing the things that I love that's going to get me to my end result? If the answer is yes, if you are seeking a life that you love, if, you're, if you love developing a skill set, learning about new things, if you love to travel, if you love to being that family person, if you love to have success in all areas in your life and to have financial abundance, if what you're doing already is happening in the present, in the now, then how is it any different to your end result? This is what bridges the gap of you being in that high vibrational frequency, being tapped into those high emotional states, love, peace, abundance, success. You're just getting more of it working towards your end result. And life, life is spent most of the time on the journey, you know, chasing that dream body, chasing that dream house, chasing that dream car. If you're happy with where you are currently, you're just going to be getting more of what you're currently doing. And that is the power of meditation and visualization, grounding your emotions in the present state. So I hope you really enjoyed this video, guys, about meditation and visualization. Give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more content.